there's a song, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. <laughs> Somebody read that and they wrote a song about it. What a friend we have in Jesus. And some of you might be thinking, well, if he's such a friend, how come he doesn't help me out like my friends would if they could? How come my friend Jesus doesn't do that? How come he doesn't bail me out? How come he doesn't do more things for me? How come he doesn't make me feel better and get rid of my problem? If he's really my friend, why doesn't he do that? I have an answer to that. It just came to me this morning. It's on your notes. You know why he doesn't do that? Yeah, he says he said he, he says we're his friends and he's our friend. And we say, wait, boy, I, you know, somebody I consider a friend would do more for me than I think Jesus does for me sometimes. Don't think that way. You know why? You know why? Because friends don't let friends drive drunk. Hmm? I'm not applying. I, I, that's a spiritual statement. Because friends don't let friends drive drunk. Most of the time, when we want what we want, when we want it, and wonder why God doesn't give it to us, it's because we want to get spiritually drunk. We want to drive in this world a little spiritually drunk. And friends don't let friends drive drunk. Hmm? Christ won't let you do what could kill you spiritually. So there's a reason why we don't get everything we want when we want it. There's even more, though. We don't get it because maybe it would be okay to have it, but he's building strength in his saints, spiritual strength. Those who can do without and still love God for not having what they think they need. Now, what do we call that? We call that living by faith. (laughs) See? If you get everything you need, everything you want, everything you desire, you don't have to have faith for anything. It's when you don't see a way you don't see a way out of the spiritual prison that Christ has put you. It's got bars on the door. Uh, it's got doors with bars and windows with bars, and you, there is no way out. You've got to pay the price. This is in my next installment of The Lake of Fire, by the way. I mean, Part D. There's no way out. You've got to pay the other most farthing. You say, I don't even know what it is. God knows. God knows. Christ puts you in prison sometimes. You have to live by faith. (laughs) You have no choice but to live by faith. Either that or give up on God and throw it away and say, I'm through with this living godly stuff. You've got to live by faith. And uh, hopefully that's what we're doing. Okay, I'm through.